Workshop 3, Building Wealth and Asset Accumulation Hello! Understand how money works. In building wealth, di lang money ang involved. Dapat i-consider mo din ang other factors like time. Importante din na maingat tayo kung saan dapat ilagay ang pera. Ano ba yung rate of return na dapat kitain ng pera mo? Dapat din maintindihan mo ang effect ng inflation and taxes. First, let's discuss the value of time. Alam mo bang may cost ang procrastination? Cost of waiting ang tawag dyan. Every time na dinedenay mo ang pag-iipon, may nawawala sa'yo. Magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Si Mr. Save Early at si Mr. Save Later. Magkaklase sila ng high school so same age sila. Pareho silang naglagay sa investment facility na pwedeng magbigay sa kanila ng average 12% return per year. Pareho silang nag-invest ng 20,000 a year for 6 years or a total of 120,000. Ang difference si Mr. Save Early nagsimula mag-save, 22 years old pa lang siya. Si Mr. Save Later dahil sa sakit na procrastination or kakadelay, Nagsimula mag-save, 28 years old na. So, 6 years nag-delay si Mr. Save later. Yung naipon ni Mr. Save early na 120,000 at age 60, naging 7,651,410 na. Yung naipon ni Mr. Save later na 120,000 din, at age 60, naging 3,876,000. 440. Dahil nagdelay si Mr. Save later ng 6 years, 3,774,970 ang nawala sa kanya. Next factor is rate of return. Let's discuss the rule of 72. Ito yung tinatawag ni Albert Einstein na the power of compound interest. Pag dinivide mo daw sa 72 yung rate of return na binibigay sa iyo kung saan ka naglagay ng pera, makukuha mo yung number of years kung kailan do doble pera mo. For example, 1% ang interest na binibigay sa iyo sa savings account mo. 72 divided by 1 equals 72 years. Meaning, 72 years pa bago do doble pera mo. Bakit 72? For example, on the first year, may 100 ka na kumikita ng 1% per year. On the second year, 101 na siya kasi kumita na ng 1% or piso. On the third year, 102.01 na. Yung 101, kumita ng 1%, kaya naging 102.01. Pago dumoble yung 100 pesos mo sa year 1, 72 years pa ang aantayin mo para maging 200. Another example, kung nasa 1% na kinikita ng pera mo, at the age of 29, may 10,000 ka, 29 plus 72, at the age of 101, congratulations, dumoble na pera mo, 20,000. Maantay mo pa ba yan? Kaya importante yung time and rate of return para mabilis dumoble pera mo. Another illustration here are 4%, 8%, 12%. Mas malaki interest rate, mas mabilis dodoble pera mo. Maraming Pinoy ang di alam how money works. 
Kaya madalas ang pera nakalagay lang sa 4% ang return or 1% or less. If you don't know how money works, 6 million ang pwedeng mawala sa iyo. Kasi nasa wrong facility ang pera mo. The secret of the wealthy is learning how money works. Ngayon alam mo na kung bakit ang mayaman lalong yumayaman at ang mahirap lalong humihirap. Another factor is inflation rate. Inflation is a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. Sa Tagalog, ito yung pagtaas ng bilihin, kaya yung kayang mabili ng pera natin kada taon ay kumukonti. From indexmundi.com, ito po yung inflation rate from year 2000 to 2014 here in the Philippines. Average inflation rate is 4.5% or gawin na lang natin 5%. Ibig sabihin, kung ang presyo ng candy ngayon ay piso, tataas siya ng 5 centavos, magiging 1.05 na siya next year. To illustrate further the inflation rate, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Noong 2003, ang pamasahe sa jeep ay 4 pesos lang. Estudyante pa ako niyan. Noong 2013, tumaas na siya. Naging 8 pesos na. Ang bigas naman dati noong 2003, nasa 20 pesos lang kada kilo. Ngayon, nasa 40 pesos na. Kaya naman dati, pag may 1,000 ka, marami kang mabibili. Pero ngayon, ang 1,000 mo, bilang na lang ang mabibili. May important message here, knowing that inflation rate is 5%, dapat naka-invest ang pera mo sa facility na magbibigay sa iyo ng at least 5%. Para makasabay ka sa pagtaas ng mga bilihin. Next, know the effect of taxes and inflation on your purchasing power. Did you know, if you have 20,000 today in savings deposit account in the bank, you are actually losing money every year. How? Yung kinita ng 20,000 mo is 50 pesos lang. That's 0.25% interest at mababawasan pa ng 20% tax or 10 pesos. Ang nakikita mo yung 20,040 pero kung i-consider natin ang inflation na 5% or 1,000, lumiit na ang purchasing power ng pera mo. Stage of money, it's important that you make money, you save, importante din na whatever you save, you grow and protect. To maximize money you have, one of your options is to invest in mutual fund. Mutual fund is about ownership. Here you are a shareholder and importante na long-term investor ka dito. Our strategy is money cost averaging. Ang role mo mag-save and invest ka every month, regardless kung anong price per share. Sabi nga, time not timing is a better ally to build wealth for your family. In our illustration, 100 pesos ang monthly savings mo. On the first month, kung 100 ang price per share, 1 share na bili mo. On the second month, price per share is 50, so 2 shares na bili mo. On the third month, 25 pesos ang price per share, so 4 shares na bili mo, and so forth. At the end of 6 months, total number of shares na nabili mo, 18 shares. Times natin sa last price per share na 50 pesos. So, total value of your investment is 900 pesos. Kung ang total contribution mo is 600, kumita ka ng 300 after 6 months or 50%. Okay ba yun? The secret of the wealthy is now available to you. A mutual fund allows the average person to have equal investment opportunity with the wealthy. A mutual fund allows many investors to pool their money. Professional money managers invest in a diversified portfolio of securities. They invest the pooled assets in many different companies in variety of industries. As an investor, you own shares in proportion to your investment. You receive your proportionate share of any earnings on the investment of the funds. Mutual funds are usually classified into first bond fund or fixed income, funds that invest in government securities. Sa bond fund, low risk, low return. 
We are recommending this type of mutual fund sa mga nasa 50 years old and up. Second, stock or equity. Funds that invest in variety of stocks and equities. Sa stock or equity, high risk, high return. We are recommending this type of mutual fund sa mga young investors dahil mahaba pa ang time. And third, balance. Combines profitability of equity investment and the stability of fixed income instruments. Balanced is for the average risk taker. The advantages of mutual funds. First, professional management. May fund manager ka na bahalang mag-manage ng investment mo. Second, diversification. Third, liquidity. Anytime you can redeem your investment. Fourth, lower investment minimums. For as low as 5,000 pesos, pwede ka na mag-open ng mutual fund account. And ease and convenience. To summarize what we have discussed in this video, building wealth and asset accumulation, first, we have discussed the wealth formula. Second, the cost of waiting or delaying. Third, rate of return. Fourth, the effect of taxes and inflation on your purchasing power. And mutual fund, one of your options in investing to beat inflation. Financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. Do you want to improve your financial situation? First step is to educate yourself. We are conducting free practical money management and investment strategies in Makati and Cebu. For those located in other provinces and outside the Philippines, we are conducting webinars. One Million Club is here to help you. Please visit www.onemillionclub.com And if you want to avail a free financial checkup, please email me at roan at onemillionclub.com Thank you for watching this video.